It's showtime. So before we go any further, there's the rear brake reservoir. So seat off on the car 6 f and what we're going to do is we're going to undo the reservoir and then we're not going to take, we don't need to take the top off we're going to undo it and then just pack it with blue roll that's enough, now just pack up actually get the blue roll around it I mean every nook and cranny you can go and push it in there you don't really want the stuff getting on front Guess what, Dad? That came off just as easy as the front calipers. I'm fucking believable. Yeah, this is the same. Work with tools like this, make sure that socket is in so you don't want to wear out the edges of the bolt. When you do that, you round these torques out, same rounds. Oh, okay, okay. It's just at the front of the bike pump in your brain. Yeah. If you forget to do that, and then you ride the motorcycle, just clip, pull the brake lever a bit because everything will kind of bed itself back in, and you'll feel it be loose, and then it'll get tighter and tighter, and then you're good. Boys, that makes you shit. shows the the wear on your braking system. So I'm just gonna pull the arm clip out. It says took your arm clip out. Somewhere you can find it. These don't actually unscrew the reason I'm not taking it is just to get it moving. I'm gonna need to take paper to clean this off. worth cleaning these pins off and lubricating them before you put them back in. Dirty, dirty, dirty. There's the big one. There's that small one. Here's the piston, but that's not really the piston. I can pull this out. I really wish I could film this back for you guys. If I could just pull this out, look at that. This is a plastic buffer. That's the piston upside down. This is a plastic buffer. So when you are sticking screwdrivers trying to push the piston back, it's a plastic. That's what you're damaging. Damage this. That's the piston. It's round it here. This is the bit that pushes. This softens the blow. I'm going to put it softer. So I'm going to not do it. So this is the bit I was talking about earlier, which is a lot of people don't realise, that when they're homebrew doing this, yeah. they're jamming in a screwdriver and against a piece of water plastic. And they, yeah, they all do the same, they break it, yeah. and then they put the pad back in, yeah. and I see it often. Do you know what Including the piston, putting the plastic bun back in. Oh, I'm sure there's a technical one. That's absolutely fantastic. Like the G 
She-Hulk zero one. Guys, that doesn't sound wrong. I'm just really paint the back of the new pad. Lubricated and cleaned the pen. Given the, the frequency of which these some of you are going to get in here with a, a toothbrush, which is fine, I'll let you do that. But given the frequency that these distant pads are, these pads need to change. We'll clean them when it's dirty, and right now, last time it had a really thorough clean. I don't want to be the person that messes this bike up. Excited and stop pumping your brakes. You need to shut off this reservoir. reservoir. Right. So the fluid has come out. Mess with the paint, my guys. You're off. You're in your lovely, lovely chassis. Yeah. Do not just go out and take your bike for a road test. What you want to do now is just gently pump. Nothing will happen, see? There was no actuation. Pump. And we're just building up the pressure. What's happening here is the pads are being pushed by the piston closer together. And then we go, I've got some. Okay. Now I have a look at this one real quick. Feels good. Might have to have a little tidy up take the time now just to double check all of our torque settings double check absolutely everything else. the way we the little rascal has spirit as wasn't this is the end of the trail for me thank you yeah. thank you kid <laughs>